Hello lovelies, Jake Yohani here with a very general troubleshooting video today on the topic of apartments because my sand machinery build is currently in progress. I know there's the issue with doors no longer going down with the walls during gameplay right now but my rebuild is already underway. So just leave your me too's on the bug report, okay? Before we begin, I should clarify that I've only ever played The Sims 4 on PC so my experience is only from that. And this is only for the cannot make changes outside of owned area error. If you got the cannot place due to fixed object error, the only way I've managed to fix that was to repair the game through EA app. Best of luck! Now, we're gonna start with the absolute beginner's how-to. So skip a few minutes if you already tried bulldozing and turning on the move objects cheat. Okay, firstly, you can't actually share apartments as is on the gallery. Instead, you'll find them as rooms. Usually, you can just search for the apartment's in-game name and find several simmers have already remodeled the whole place beautifully. Save the ones you like to your library and go ahead and click the little hearts too. It's the simplest way to show your support for your fellow simmers. Now, for placing your chosen apartment, it's best to bulldoze the place first. There might be some wallpaper left over, but you don't need to worry about that. Next, you need to enable the move objects cheat. Bring up the cheat console by pressing the Shift, Control, and C keys, then type in bb.moveobjects space on, like so, and press enter. Now you're ready to place your apartment from the gallery. Open the room catalog and click place room. Align the red lines to the apartment's outer wall until the shape matches up and the lines turn green. And just click to place it. Yay, a new apartment. If it has any missing walls, just put them back on using the wall tool. Sometimes that messes up the wall patterns though, which unfortunately I don't know way around that. Best guess is to just use the eyedropper tool and just repaint the walls until they look pretty safe. Now, let's say you've done everything right so far, up to matching the shape of the room exactly to the apartment, but the lines are still red and it won't place. How annoying. Okay. One straightforward solution I found is to go back to Manage Worlds and load the neighboring apartments in build mode. Bulldoze them and then go back and try to place your apartment again. Ta-da! It works now! You only need to bulldoze the neighbors who share a wall with yours. If there are no shared walls like in Jasmine Suites, I'm afraid that's a bug I've never encountered. But find the ones that do and bulldoze away. But what if you don't want your sims neighbors to lose their apartments? Fret not, for I have another way, as I have toiled and trialed and errored. This requires a bit of explanation on why the room couldn't place in the first place, and then some visualizing on your end. If you guys already knew this and I'm just outdated, do skip ahead and save me the embarrassment. To better explain this, let's take our example apartments, 1312 and 1313 21 chic apartments here to this plot of land here you can see here that they share this stretch of wall between them it's called such a wall as the shared wall when i couldn't place 1312 earlier it was because of this wall that's aligned with the one in 1313 i could not place them side by side like this like i could now because as apartments you could only edit the one you're currently loaded in so Let's go back in the apartment building and see what that looks like. From this angle, you could see the walls of the other apartment that's touching this one through the shared wall. Let's call this the touching wall. So now we have shared walls and touching walls. Okay, if you still want to place your chosen apartment without bulldozing any of its neighbors, check the shared walls and note which side has touching walls like this. Then, take your chosen apartment and temporarily place it on a lot. Remove any walls that touch the would-be shared walls. Or, although a little drastic, just remove an entire row of one tile width on the sides that would share walls with the neighbors. After that, click on any empty space on the floor and save your apartment as another room. Go back to the apartment building by placing it again and it should work this time. Congratulations! Just replace the missing walls using the wall tool and figure out the wall patterns. You can do this. 
Lastly, what if you wanted to share your own apartment fields without breaking it up in parts? By turning the whole place into one big room. After you've finished the build, take the sledgehammer tool and delete singular walls from each stretch of wall that separate your rooms. Make sure you have move objects key turned on for this. Click on an empty space on the floor to check the room outlines to see where you would need to take down a wall. Maybe you want to remove every wall that touches a shared wall as well to avoid any placement problems. Once it's all enclosed as a single room, you can save it to your library. Name it, tag the apartment name it's meant for and go ahead and upload. If you want, you could put the walls back on and still save it as one room. This is what I've been doing and everything works fine on my end. After taking down the single walls, use the wall tool to build standalone single walls like so. Press the escape key to deselect the wall tool and select the standalone wall by clicking on it. Click the move arrow and place the wall in the gap. Paint it to match and repeat for the other gaps except for when it's adjacent to a shared wall. The upside of doing it this way is the people who use your apartments won't have to work out the wall pattern problem anymore. Yay! That ends our general troubleshooting today. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. I'm still going through Sanmei Shuno right now, so that should be up next. See you then. Bye!